Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I was sent this to have a look at, and it's a Casio CP10 printing calculator. Look at that, I've never seen one so tiny. A pocket printing calculator. And this came along with it as well. Batteries. So I suspect it's in dire need of some batteries. And it does look like it's actually rechargeable because it does have a charger. 4.8 volts, 2.5 watts. Goes right in there. And it's got all the original wrappings on. You see this sort of crease here. It's not like the finish is falling apart. It's actually got the original sort of you know, plastic protecting stuff on there. So we don't want to go nuts with the paper because I don't think we've got too much to play with. Just a bit in this roll. And it's a pain in the ass to take a roll down and cut it. But I have done it in the past. So without further ado, I guess let's just take the back off it and see what's going on. Hopefully nothing too scary. Screw one and a tight, a very tight screw two. Really tight. But he's off now. Ginger, 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 ginger. Ginger, 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 ginger. Ooh, leaky batteries. Let's get some protection down. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, interesting. Good. I like a challenge. Let's get the soldering iron on. What we're going to have to do now then is make our own battery pack out of these batteries. So that's fine. I can live with that. We're going to put them in how they are here. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So that's the order that these are going to go in. Which means we're going to have to join thusly. Join them here. Join them here and join them here. So that really is making our own uh, battery pack. So while the soldering iron is heating, we can sort of work out how we're going to do it. Either we can try to attempt to remove the fur from this old one, which I'm thinking no. I'm not really sure I'm up for that. I'd rather just, instead of pl playing with the old tangs, and I'm going to use my rubbish tweezers for this. There we go. I think we're going to have to just try to make our own using wire. Now. Now he says, where is all the wire? Where has all my wire gone? Let me try using solder braid might work. That might be an interesting technique to use a soldering braid as a strapping. Who knows? Let's just get the soldering iron out. It's hot now. Good. I think we just want to get the old battery pack off first. I think that's our priority so I can bin that. Uh, and I'm going to bin it immediately. Actually, because I don't don't think there's any use case for it at all. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna salvage any of that. There's that's gone, that's gone. It's gonna go in a baggie in the bin. Right, here is our batteries. Oh, hang on, hang on a cotton pick a minute. I just noticed something here. There's a resistor in here that's lifted. That gunk has not been good to this guy. It's so weird. It's really dark. It's like, that's so surreal. I don't think I someone modded this. There could be more to this mystery. Thirty nine ohms. I'm trying to get to his, the one next to it. Might have to go in from behind here. One oh two k. I'm really worried now. <clears throat> the reason is I've got th there's three resistors in here, and I can't tell if this one was always a thirty nine or if it's just been destroyed into thinking it's now a 39. It's really looking sad though. I can see where it would have been soldered though, so there's at least that. Oh yeah, it is a 39, it does say so on the board. Wow, well done, amazing. It does actually say what the value of the resistor should be. Brilliant. So I'm gonna try, it's really hard, I'm gonna try to bend its legs. Yeah, come on boy. There's. If there's a chance I can reuse it and just tack it back down, I will. If not, I'll have to replace it. Let's get in there with some solder. 
So there's a gotcha right away. That would have been a, a kick in the tooth because I wouldn't have seen that. There we go, I got him. We would have uh, made everything else up and it wouldn't have worked and I'd have been disappointed and that was it. Wire, wire, my kingdom for some wire. How thick does this wire have to be? Who knows? I'm going to use some of these. Actually, it doesn't have to be very thick because look at the wires to the unit. So the battery pack is so tiny, so we can make the strapping quite small. Let's get our pliers. Now, you have to be careful when you're soldering to batteries for obvious reasons. You don't want to linger. Put it that way. Otherwise, they'll... I might do a bit of catchy fire on you. And you don't want that. No, sir. So I'm just going to try to make a few of those. We need three in total. And these are going to just make sure the batteries are all hooked up how they're supposed to be so that when you go along and recharge them, they'll work as expected. Now I don't have a charger for this, which is kind of a bit annoying. And I'm not really sure on the polarity, so I'm going to be deadly deadly uh, cautious if I have to uh, have a go at charging this. Let's just hope hope there's something, some residual current in these batteries. Right, let's get organized. So to make a battery pack you will need something like this because you just don't have enough hands. Even this isn't great but to be honest at least it's better than nothing. So there's a battery and hopefully the camera will focus on that. If not, I do apologize. Just squint your eyes. Come on camera, focus. Focus on this. Focus on my voice. There we go. See if it stays focused on it. Remember what I said, very quick. There you go. Soon as the solder's melted, get away from it. Get away from it. We have our, it's not tinned, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Bit of wire. See, that easy, that easy. Now I'm gonna do the same to the other bit of it. And this will be out of focus because it's over there down here to the left of the camera, but don't worry about that. It was the same process just on the positive terminal of the next battery. You see? And then I'm gonna whack that on there. These wires are crazy long for this application, of course. If you can avoid avoid them this long, then you don't need them to be this long at all. My solder iron is a bit dirty there. I just thought I'd tin that. I don't think it's going to stick unless I tin it. Steady. That'll do. So the byproduct, of course, of having these extra long wires means I might have a bit of trouble getting it in the case, but. I think these battery packs probably last forever, pretty much. Ooh, this battery's nice and toasty. A bit too toasty, really, for my liking. Can't, can't be helped. So the next one is a positive. Goes on this other end. Okay, he's ready. This one wants to come in, I've not really done a good job of that, but this one has to come in from this angle. I did dwell a little bit too long on there and I did melt some of that plastic, but I think it'll be fine. I'm going to try a different way this time and have that in the vise. Come on you. There we go. Make sure you're looking at the right thing. My hand. Always focus on the hand. Talk to the hand. This one actually is really bad, but I think it's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like risk uh, overheating that battery at the sake of making something pretty. Pretty is working. So we just got the last one. Here. I'm focus on getting this one pretty. Oh, 
There you go. It's a bit better. It's not great. Not amazing. It'll do. So sorry about the focus again, folks. Bear with me. It's making your eyes go a bit screwy. But think of all these fumes that they're doing to my eyes. Phew. Right. Come on now. Your little bit last focus, Mr. Camera. Focus on the fingers. No, I'm not going to waste time on focus. You just got to suffer in silence. We're done though. We're done. Don't worry. We're back. We're back to just normal behavior. Now. Look, here we are. So that is effectively our battery pack. It doesn't look like what came out of it, but it's functionally the same sort of thing. And we're gonna we're gonna test our battery pack now because we're gonna put our voltmeter on. There we go. And it's kind of tricky. It's like trying to test the voltage on a worm that's trying to wriggle around. But we should get something. Right, there we go. 5.39 volts. So we do have some juice in our pack too, which is nice to know. So we've got to arrange it something like this. You saw what came out. I'm going to go with a little bit of tape. A little bit of tape would be a trick for me. Uh, get it all bunched up. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm just going to slightly adjust each one now, one at a time. So I want them. You want them to be all the same height. Just that's that's the main one, or at least close enough. I think they are close enough. I think that's fine. I think another layer or two of tape, and we are done. So that's a bit worrying about that resistor. I don't know what happened to that. It was very dark and mucky. It might well just be, you know, caused by some ooze from the uh, battery. The old cell. Just going to see if there's anything this will touch when it's in there. I want a short. Yeah. No, it's pretty good. It's pretty good nothing for it to short this end. This end it's got that resistor but I think we're pretty clear of that so I'm not too worried. I'm just going to put some solder on the end of the battery then so I can solder it to the uh, connectors inside. Got the dink on there. Ooh, there we go. It's a bit, getting a bit toxic in the atmosphere in here. Get my face a bit too close to the old soldering iron. Let's get the negative hooked up. Nice. And uh, we've got the positive now. Let's hook that up. Get it in there. Get it in there. Ah, Sam. Now the tricky part. I'm trying to squeeze it all in, make sure it fits. Just going to check the lid. Yeah, we've got clearance. So wherever there's these sort of bumps on the lid, it means we have got clearance. We don't really have to worry too much about the routing of our wires. They should fit okay. Yeah. That's most of them. Just this one kind of is going to need a bit of cajoling because the solder. I'm just going to see if I can just take the edge off it. Now I do apologise if I just singe the plastic ever so slightly in the case. Yeah, that's gone in. That's gone in. Oh, and it is on. That's a good start, isn't it? Bloody good start. I reckon I'm going to just jump straight to putting the lid on because there's nothing, nothing wrong with that in there at all. It's a diamond gazer. Getting all, all getting all Danny Dyer now, aren't I? Bit, bit of Danny Dyer. Dyer, Dyer, Danny Dyer. Dyer, Dyer, Danny Dyer, Dyer. Mush, dire, back office, calculator. Right, four, oh, how do I do it? Calculator mode. Four times five, 20. Bloody brilliant. It's doing it. Print. Mm, you know what? I'm, I'm so, oh, I'm so scared of printing. There's hardly, whoa. It did it. Boy, oh boy, it printed it. Look, 20, 20. 20. Awesome. Oh, not so awesome is that I didn't really put the back on properly. Yeah, I better sort of revisit that. 
Um, yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, oh, I've got to do it now. Can't wrap up this video without putting that back on. And I think I've seen a way I can modify the back to it's a bit better. Not quite as good as it could be, you know. Yeah, if I bend this tang in, it's very soft actually. Crikey, I could see um, many of these go in with a broken sort of back, back door on it. Oh, beautiful. This is a, a lovely calculator really. I mean, I've got no use for such a thing and I'm, I'm sure most people don't. I mean, I don't ever need to print little chitties of paper. But, you know, it was, it was a lovely piece of engineering from its time. Right, and that's it really. I guess if you don't want it printing, five times five, 25, brilliant. I guess you just leave it in time mode so then the buttons can be pressed. So that is it, guys. That's a Casio CP10 repaired with a homemade battery pack of all things. Hopefully that's helped you and you'll be able to do your own similar repair to a similar unit. Um, it's a gorgeous thing. If you look at, look at the car boot cell, see if you can find one, pick one up. Rechargeable and everything. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm dead chuffed at that. Please like, comment and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching.